Hey everyone, good morning to you. Thanks for being with us here for CBS 8 Plus Extended Forecast. I'm Evan Narani, giving you a check of what to expect throughout the rest of the day here on your Tuesday, as well as through Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. This is going to be a stormy stretch of weather for us, but I mean, keep in mind, we've already made it through the brunt of this. Uh, Monday, yesterday, through the nighttime hours, showers intensified from north to south, so North County was getting the brunt of it through the AM stretch. By the PM hours, things started to kind of expand countywide. Want to show you what we've been seeing over just the last hour. So this is 8 to 9 a.m. We got a little bit of a lull in activity, luckily, and now we're watching as that next wave arrives on shore. So we got a good amount of it, mainly overnight from one Monday into Tuesday. The early morning hours, 3, 4, 5 a.m. were pretty wet. Now we've gotten this little bit of a break in the wet weather, and now we're watching for the next wave. And that's going to be the name of the game for the remainder of the week, it looks like, through about Wednesday, Thursday, we're going to see on off activity persist, and that's what we're expecting to add on to our totals. What do the totals look like so far? This is as of 4 a.m. on Tuesday, so again, we still have a good amount to be added on to this. Some that's already fallen and some that is still yet to come over the coming days. Uh, but take a look. North County was hit the hardest. 2.7 inches in Oceanside, over 2 inches in Carlsbad, over 3 inches up at Palomar Mountain. So a good amount up around North County. Starting to get a little lighter toward an inch or so the farther south you go. And then the southeast corner of San Diego is where we see the lightest accumulations unsurprisingly. So the flood advisory that we had earlier in play just goes to show how much of that wet weather was centered mainly along the coast and inland. And that's what we see as this system slowly moves south. It is a very slow mover. All right, <coughs> excuse me. Let's talk about what we have in store for the rest of the day. Uh, today is a good opportunity for that rain to continue. Scattered showers in many cases. Uh, we're going to see an opportunity for some thunderstorms by the afternoon, and that's going to involve the quick downpours of rain and quick down drafts of wind. When we get into Wednesday, Thursday, we're mainly going to be looking at on off activity, and a lot of it is going to come in the overnight stretch, which I guess is good news considering fewer people will be out and about. Chance of rain diminishes by the end of the week. 15% chance on Saturday, dropping down to 2% by Sunday. And then into Monday, all the way through the middle of next week, we're going to be headed toward a stretch of dry weather. Question on a lot of people's mind is how much remaining rain is on the way. So let's pause this at the end of the day today into the early morning hours of tomorrow. Looks like we'll get an additional half an inch to an inch total. If we keep going beyond that into Thursday, we're going to be looking at an inch overall in most spots. And again, this is cumulative, so adding on to these totals. And then into early Friday, same situation. So essentially, what we've already picked up on on the ground is an inch to two inches. We are going to be picking up on an additional inch to two inches. And the brunt of that that we've already seen came down Monday into early Tuesday. So all we have left is about three days to spread all this rain out. That doesn't give us a lot of confidence and any major flooding taking place. The reason why we still are going to keep our guard up, though, is because some of these thunderstorms could have the opportunity to drop, you know, an inch per hour. So say, for example, one of the spots on the county map here, Escondido, for example, uh, sees a quick moving thunderstorm and that's all they see over the next three days. Well, that single inch could come down in a very, very fast period of time. None of these totals look to indicate flash flooding. But we'll see it as a possibility, at least through the rest of the day. And uh, we definitely have seen flash flood warnings that have just filled the screen for Orange County, L.A. County, Ventura County, Santa Barbara County. You head up the coastline. They've seen a lot more rainfall in total. So let's time out the rest of this for you. You can see how this next wave moves on shore. Going to come along with some scattered thunderstorms. Another wave by the afternoon, 2 p.m. or so. And it looks like as we head toward nightfall and temperatures cool down over the mountains, we're going to see some of that snowfall. So mountains are going to see some of the snow, six to eight inches going to be a popular amount of snow for Palomar Mountain and Mount Laguna. Those are going to be the highest elevations, but Julian and Pine Valley still could pick up on some light accumulations too. It's hard to pin down specifics with this storm just because of how scattered and sporadic the activity is, but most of our models do show that the heavier stuff is going to come down overnight, which is good news. There aren't going to be as many people out and about. We head through the rest of the day on your Wednesday. You can see that kind of stronger cell make its way on shore. Again, that's going to be overnight from Wednesday into Thursday. 5.30 a.m. morning commute, still wet out there in certain spots along the county, right along the 8 freeway, for example. Snow out there across the mountains if you're making travel plans for the mountain passes. 
So this is that type of on off activity that we're going to watch all the way through the day on Wednesday as well as Thursday as opposed to today. That's mainly those thunderstorms. Uh, take a look at the eight day forecast today through Thursday is going to be the stretch of the wettest weather. And then as we get into your weekend, we start to see that daily opportunity of rain fall significantly. So much drier for Saturday, Sunday, Super Bowl Sunday. Don't worry, you know you got your sights set on it. Uh, we do have a dry Super Bowl Sunday. Saturday is going to have that 15% chance of rain, which is minimal compared to what we have today. Today, some scattered thunderstorms. Wednesday, Thursday, very on off activity, light to moderate for the most part, and that will then taper off by likely early Friday. Some models point to a completely dry Friday. I'd say favor some morning showers, mainly through the morning and then afternoon stretch. Uh, we'll start to see drier skies across the mountains. Eight inches possible up toward Palomar Mountain and Mount Laguna, and then it looks like the desert deserts are going to stay on the lighter end of accumulations. Uh, temperatures warming their way up just a bit, not only across the mountains and deserts as we get into the weekend and early next week, but also across the coast and inland we will all start to move toward gradually that warmer stretch of weather as we get into next week. A lot more on the eight day forecast is on our website. You can get basically all these individual graphics at your leisure, cbs8.com slash weather. You can also download the CBS 8 app. Make sure to sign up for those push notifications. We'll let you know of any watches, warnings, and advisories that get issued across our county. In the meantime, we appreciate you joining us again. We have seen the brunt of this storm. We've got a bit more on the way at times, moderate to heavy today, Tuesday, and then Wednesday, Thursday. We're going to see a lot more of that on off activity throughout the days. But again, the opportunity for some quick moving severe thunderstorms possible, just not very likely, but we're watching slowly as the storm keeps moving south. Another inch, inch and a half in some cases still to go. Again, thanks for being with us. I'm Evan Irani. Have a great day.